Okay guys, I am uh, out here getting ready to flush a beaver. Uh, my wonderful fiance is taping me. Um, most of you guys use a beam and a draw knife to flush your beavers. I do not have a beam or a draw knife. I learned a technique from a good friend of mine. He traps and he does uh, ranch fur. Uh, I use what I call a Yulu knife. Got mine in Alaska. Uh, you can look them up. It's called the Yulu Factory. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what they are. They're like $20 a knife and they work good for me. So I will show you how I use my Yulu knife to do a beaver. I'm um, not going to show you the whole beaver. I'll just show you a few smaller clips and uh, we'll go from there. So I have the beaver here on the board. I just got to get him uh, tacked up, spread out a little bit, pull him a little bit tight so I can start to uh, flush him. And uh, once I got him pulled out tight, I'll uh, We'll start another video and we'll show you the first couple cuts and how I go about flushing this beaver. So, I'll get to that. Okay guys, I got it uh, tacked out as you can see. Uh, try to get it as tight as you can. Um, with the Ulu knife it uh, pays to have it tight. Um, now me, I start by cutting straight down the middle and working my way from the top by the head around the front legs and then down to this half. And then after I get this half done I start from the arse end come by the back leg and then work towards the head. So my first cut I try to get down as far as I can reach or as low as I dare and just make a straight line up the beaver. And you'll see that it's, when there's lots of fat it'll start to lay open. And then you just slide underneath and work your way down. until you got yourself about an inch, inch and a half uh, distance up cl close and then you just trim a little bit around the ears um, I find there can be the most awkward spot because the ears have quite a lump and you can cut in there quite easily so you have to take your time and be very meticulous with what your knife and, and then you just work your way up towards the, the lips um, up around the lips can be a little bit of a pain because you got the whiskers and all that that usually gets cut off so I don't spend a whole lot of time getting the head real real clean right at first I'll clean it up a little bit near the end and then I work my way towards the uh, towards the front legs um, this is not as quick as people do it on the draw knife but uh, I like it it's a different style for me um, I've actually just adapted to doing my raccoons um, this way my buddy has a flushing machine that I usually use, he lets me use, but uh, with me getting used to doing this Yulu knife, and uh, some of you know I have some otters that I have to do up, so without having a draw knife you can't do the otters on the flushing machine, because it uh, moves too fast and it causes the, the hair to uh, singe with the friction of the machine, so I'm going to have to use the Yulu knife on it as well, so for me doing raccoons is good practice and I'm really pretty decent at it with the beavers um, I got some decent prices I've, I've never had a top lot beaver yet but uh, last year I had one beaver that went uh, the second highest lot from uh, fur harvesters auctions so uh, I do a not a bad job so I'm pretty pleased with this little knife and like I said you can get this knife um, from the Yulu factory you go online just type in the Yulu factory they'll send it to you. Um, I live in uh, New Brunswick, Canada and they sent it to me so I'm sure they'll send it anywhere in the States and Canada. A little bit more shipping to Canada because it has come across customs and the border but uh, I mean 10 days I think I had it so I got it pretty quick. I've done all my beers with it uh, this year. And I had my buddy's knife last year but he had to get it this time because they got a few more beers than I did so they needed their knife back, so I got my own. It's quick, easy, does a decent job. Uh, if you have long strokes, like once you get away from the front legs, you can get some pretty nice long strokes. Um, as long as your hand is in the right angle, and you don't make a mistake and get your hand wrong, cut it totally, you can make some pretty good uh, nice long strokes and take off some fat. It does a pretty good job, like I said. Second highest lot in fur harvesters last year for one one beaver. So there it is, guys. That's around the front leg. Uh, you still have some fat on the front leg. I use my other knife from Post to clean this out, 
cleaning it up. But that's that. So we'll stop the video here in a minute, and I'll work my way to the hind leg, and I'll show you the hind leg and back around the tail. Uh, it's the grisliest part of the beaver, and it can be a pain. So we'll get this easy part done, and we'll be back. Okay guys, uh, as you can see I did the, the whole center piece of the beaver, um, smooth, looks nice. Uh, as you can tell it's get, starting to become a little bit uh, less tight. Um, that happens when you take some fat off. So I've stretched the nails a little bit more, I'm going to stretch some here. But down around the hind legs, as you can see I can play with it quite a bit. Um, so the hind legs with the knife, uh, I'm not sure what the draw knife, but I know with the Yulu knife it's uh, a little bit more complicated because it's so uh, pliable and you can move it around. So have to be very careful when you're doing the hind legs because it's easy to cut. So I'm going to try to do it without cutting. You always got to try to keep a little bit of tension on your uh, your fat when you're cutting with the Yulu knife. Um, take your time. You don't have to do a perfect job around here because like I said, uh, it's easier when you're done just to come along and trim up with your uh, other knife. Just your standard everyday skinner will work just fine for cleaning up. Um, might Some people trim the legs down a little bit uh, to help. There's that last little bit you just can never seem to get. So Just take your time. You pull it as tight as you can get it. Like I said, last thing you really want is to make a big cut here. So you just take your time. Work your knife in and around it. And I always come up in here after I get to a certain point and I try to make that first starter cut again. And that leaves that last hectic bunch of fat and stuff up in here that you can always come back and get with your knife. So there's a little bit of fat you guys can see um, around the hind leg that I come back and like I said clean up with my other knife. I got the main line started again and I just keep working your way down and like I said, the rear of the uh, the beaver is the where the most of the muscle is, because you know the strength in those tails are just crazy. So the muscle is is quite thick too. Um, you can see all the fat. I know it's kind of gross, but I just trim that all off. Um, some big beavers you'll have like big buckets of fat. Um, this guy's a decent sized beaver, but he's not the fattest beaver I've ever seen. Some of the real, real nasty ones of some of those ones that get up to 60, 70 pounds, they are, uh, they got a lot of fat on them. So, I'll get this done and uh, we'll show you when I get the thing totally complete and uh, get the nails on it and get it spread out. So, got a little bit more work to do and we'll, we'll show you the finished product when we get her done. So, talk to you guys later.